Most of what I know about running came from right here in Minnesota. One of the things I've learned is that it's the, it's the whole of the training, it's the entirety of the cycle that's important and not so much the one workout. The intensity and the paces of the training is beyond anything I've ever done. It's the biggest race of my life because it's the Olympic trials and I guess if this isn't the biggest race of my life, what is? It's, it's, a, it's a difficult thing because you're going into an Olympic trials race where the only real goal, quite honestly, of the Olympic trials is obviously you want to go and run your best race, but is to try to be in the top three to qualify for the team. With the Olympic trials, it's just obvious that that's the one you want to run. I've tried to approach it more along the lines of this is just another race, you know, another marathon I'm going to do, instead of getting all worked up and getting, you know, kind of high strung. The guys in the race, we know about them, we know what they're capable of. If they start running a certain pace and that's way out of the realm of possibility for you, you know, it's a suicide mission. So I don't, I just want to get, a, I want the gun to fire and I just want to see what's going to happen. I've adjusted my training over the years to, to have a, a, a shorter, a marathon specific uh, period because I think that uh, you just can't do that much uh, uh, without wearing somebody down. Some of the workouts that we've done during this phase are uh, some longer intervals of uh, two and a half miles with uh, three minutes rest. Uh, we've done some uh, mile repeats, a little bit more like half marathon pace with short rest like we did today. We've done some uh, five and a half uh, mile intervals and uh, we've done some thousands, a little bit more uh, 5k, 10k pace and we've done some hills. I don't look at the specifics of the workouts so much as I, as I do the training effect and there's uh, a lot of different ways you can reach the same training effect. first few weeks of the marathon training cycle are always a little bit difficult because you're you're sort of readjusting to, to running. You got to commit to, you know, doing a little bit longer run than you're used to doing. I think the consistency for me has been the hardest part. It sounds simple, but it's actually, you know, it can kind of grind on you a little bit. If you're gonna run a 140 mile week in the middle of this training block, it's not like one day can just be five miles or something. But once you kind of get into that rhythm, it, it's 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 not so bad. I, I know some people focus on, you know, I gotta do this workout or that one. This is the barometer of, you know, of a good training. For me, it's just getting out there and getting what I can out of myself on certain days. A lot of the workouts are done just by feel because during the course of a marathon buildup, you go through periods of feeling good and feeling bad. If you shoot for goal times and you know your legs just don't have it that day, then that's discouraging. The most important part to preparing yourself for the marathon and, and racing the marathon is making it to the line fresh and healthy. We've, we've had a lot of fantastic workouts during the cycle. Um, the big difference this cycle is um, I've made it through the whole thing completely healthy and that's that's been that's been awesome and in fact all of us have more or less I feel you know a couple little aches and pains here and there with a few of the guys but it's it's very rare for a whole group of guys to make it all there through the cycle and, and stay relatively healthy. There have been days where I've been able to keep up um, and there have been days where I've been left in the dust. And it's, it's, it's acceptable in a marathon training cycle to bomb a workout or two here or there. It just 
based on your energy level and, and, and how much of a grind the training can get to be, and I don't think any of us bombed one of them. If you go into it and just go with, uh, this is what I have today, and I want to accomplish this workout and get the, the number of intervals in or the distance, then you can achieve a training effect. The strength of, of this group is that there are different personalities and I think when, when one particular person might be down, um, the strengths of the others are, are the right kind of strengths to pull them along and pull them through those hard times. This is the, the first time I've had three, you know, four guys <clears throat> that have done everything together, more or less. The four of us have been pointing towards this this one goal. When you're in a group and you're training with the training with guys, this is the success feeds on itself. You know, when I've been able to keep up with the guys, that gives me confidence because I know how good they are. If any one of us goes and runs a great race or wins a race, it it builds everybody up. The people who inspire me now are really are these guys. You know, my my teammates. The hardest part of the training is uh, just staying in it mentally for that long. I mean, the marathon's a, a journey in, in good and bad patches. You're going to have good stretches, you're going to have really good stretches, you're going to have terrible stretches, so-so stretches, you know, but if you just can tell yourself that you're, you'll come out of it when you hit the, hit the bad stretch, keep telling yourself, okay, this will pass, and you know, eventually it does. Uh huge thing I've learned over the years is just like when you get to a race everyone's ready to go you know I mean that's that's the way you have to look at it is everyone's trained hard and everyone is is going to compete hard and everything so like you have to get yourself in a mindset to get the best out of yourself we do a three hour long run we do you know long long grinding temple runs and that's that's what mentally prepares you you can get through the training you mentally can get through the training then you're mentally preparing for the race as well Mentally, I've been preparing by, you know, t kind of laying back a little bit. I, I don't want to get too focused on it too early and then get kind of frazzled. Whether I want to or not, I play the race in my head, you know, good and bad. You know, you go through the different scenarios in your head and there's no way of knowing at mile 14, you know, was that last mile three seconds too fast? You kind of have to do it by feel. I do want to run like the pace that I feel comfortable with and I don't want to get caught up in other people's paces. I'm not just going to go run exactly five minute miles because that's what I think I can do. I have to react to the things that are going on in the race around me but at the same time make smart decisions and cover the moves that are, are going to hopefully get me to that, that area where maybe I can sneak into the top three. I don't know where in the field I'll be or anything like that but if I can be aggressive and confident and everything like that, that would be my own ideal race. Uh, you put a lot of emotional investment into a marathon training period of, of 8 or 10 or 12 weeks and uh, you can't stay up the whole time, you have to kind of go with the ebbs and flows of the training and you go through periods of, of feeling good and feeling bad and you can't lose your confidence. I think a key to this race is going to be going in with uh, not too narrow of an expectation. The key for me is just to, if I can pour everything I have out. Every second in the race, I want to be thinking about what can I do better right now? Am I doing this right? Who like I feel like I've gotten a really incredible opportunity. You know, I just have to do well now. It's one of those things. The key is to get to the finish line as fast as you can without dying. <laughs> you can die directly on the finish line, but you have to make it there first. You know, there will come a point during the race where it's you have to commit. Knowing that I'm going to hurt and that I'm going to persevere, I'm going to make it through. At some point, it it it's, comes down to who's tough enough too, you know, so. Well, at any point, you just don't let yourself give in. If 
find out a lot about yourself when it gets tough. I think the marathon is, is the one race where there's more actual decisions you have to make than any other race. That's the beauty of racing, that's why you do the race, to figure out all these things and trust uh, your instincts and your gut and you know maybe turn some heads, I don't know, it's just it's a beautiful thing, that's the bottom line. But you always have to give yourself a chance, you know, you always have to believe that you can do it, you have to get in there and be in the hunt. And you get to that last 10K, you're within striking distance, you just never can give up.